Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Vodka Gimlet. It's good. Yep, sharp. Probably ounce for ounce, the cocktail that you and I have here most at the studio. You think? Mm Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. Because it's easy to make. Very easy. Delicious. Very delicious. And when we need to brainstorm, it gets the juices flowing to our mind. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. Now, there are two ways to make the vodka gimlet, right? Mm-hmm. Vodka, of course. Yeah. Well, you need and that. And it's either with Rose's lime juice, or some sort of lime cordial, or fresh lime juice and sugar. hmm And we've made this drink in about every permutation possible. And the, just the right way to do it is to have a little bit of each. Yeah. And I like the Rose's because that's, you know, really where it came from, is with the Rose's. Yes. Another... Cocktail brought to us by our friends across the sea. Yep, the British, and of course in the military. There's something about the British military and drinking, I don't get it. I weird. know, well. They gotta administer medicine for malaria, they're trying to fight off scurvy, so they're like, hey, we'll just get our uh, the, our uh, military people drinking, Yes. and then that way we can get them their medicine. It's totally the opposite of Mary Poppins, <laughs> who's British, right? Right. It was a spoonful of sugar with her, mm-hmm. and the kids she was taking care of. But no, with the yeah, with the British armed forces, it's alcohol it makes the medicine go down. Right. Yes, it is. Um, we have a dash of roses, lime juice. If you do all roses, lime juice, it's a little too bitter. Yep. But just having a small amount of it with the fresh lime juice and some sugar um, is perfect because mm-hmm. you have the complexity from the roses um, and the sweetness from the fresh lime. Yep. Right. Yep. Now, Rose's lamb juice was invented by a Scott. Mm-hmm. Rose. Lachlan Rose. Rose. Whenever I hear that, I think of that song. You know what I'm talking about? It's a Neil Diamond song again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something Rose. It's not Lachlan Rose, obviously. Cracklin Rose. Oh, Cracklin Rose. I know. <laughs> it, I has, know. it has the same sound to it. Lachlan I never know. Rose. Yeah. Cracklin Rose. I wonder if that's where he got the idea. Maybe. I can never remember the words to his songs for some reason. Um, but so you're probably just singing <laughs> Lachlan Rose. Lachlan <laughs> Rose, I do. So Lachlan Rose was from Edinburgh, and he patented the method of preserving lime juice without alcohol. And of course, the British Royal Navy loved it. Yeah. Because they could feed it to their sailors. Yep. And they uh, they even like passed an act or something. They commissioned that they had to uh, have a daily ration of Rose's lime juice. Yes. Yeah. That's so, where the word limey came from. That's right. Yep. And they give them lime juice because why? Well, to fight off scurvy. Fight off scurvy. Yeah. What do you remember about scurvy? Do you remember anything from I just school? remember, you know, I remember from school it was, uh, we were talking about when everybody was coming over to the Americas and they're exploring and everything. And there was uh, some people that were trying to fight off scurvy and there was some old lady witch or something that was like <laughs> feeding the people coming over pine needles. Yeah. And that helped fight it off too. So... All I remember about scurvy is that your teeth fall out. Your gums go real bad, and then your teeth start falling out. I don't know what actually kills you. It's probably central nervous system failure Breakdown, or something. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so um, and the gimlet is actually probably named for the Surgeon, Gen- Surgeon General to the Royal Navy. Navy. Gimlet. Again, yep. Who said, all right, take your ration with... He probably used gin. Mm-hmm. The sailors probably rum, at least early on. But today we make it uh, with vodka. With vodka, yeah. All right. Now, some might say gimlet, that means like sharp. It's a sharp tool. And, yeah. and the drink does have some sharpness to it. So that might be where it came from. Yeah, there's a little mystery. Yeah. I like the admiral idea, or the <laughs> yeah. surgeon general, rather. Yeah, I like the idea that the British Army and, and military men drink a lot. It's amazing they can keep their ships <laughs> going in a straight line. Right? I don't know. All right, let's make this. All right, sounds good. We're going to start with two ounces of vodka. I'm going to get some simple syrup while you do that. Always forgetting something. We're using the Hangar One vodka. We like the... Like that, but you can use any vodka that you prefer. Yep. All right, we're going to do one ounce of simple syrup. And then three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. So would you be a limey since you're the one that's always squeezing it? Yes, but you have a little cold today. I do. So I'm going to make you drink this. 
Yeah. I'm gonna make a couple of them for you. That's gonna help. Obviously, you did not have one for breakfast this morning. Oh, I did. Otherwise, you'd be okay. Three quarter ounces of fresh lamb juice, and then one quarter ounce of roses lime juice. Lachlan Rose, keep on going. See, I don't even know what the second. See, I think you got most of the song. It's not keep on going. Uh, I don't Cracklin Rose then. So I'll shake this up. We got a glass already chilling with ice. That sound is music to my ears. Oh yeah. We'll discard the ice and then strain the drink right in there. Oh, that looks good. Seriously, you're drinking this and then I'm making you another one. Oh yeah. There you go. All right, and just a little a lime wheel on the edge. And there you have your vodka gimlet, as the doctor ordered. To all those limeys out there. Cheers. Cheers.